Well, from the blockbuster Lego movie to the new Legoland opening in Somerville at the end of the month, the old school children's toy is a modern day hit. And not just with the kids. As I found, local researchers are using Legos to study some real life problems. MIT, where the brainiest of brainiacs are Lego maniacs. When somebody sees Legos, they just want to play with them. Our cameras caught Ira Winder sitting at his desk building Legos. <laughs> A gotcha moment, it's not. He's working. He's studying the walkability of a city. The Legos helped me express the ideas that I'm really passionate about. Each of these is its own standalone plate. Winder is part of the City Science Initiative at the MIT Media Lab. He builds Lego models of cities. This is Kendall Square in Cambridge. Then, by projecting computer crunch data down onto the Legos, researchers can test how changes to infrastructure will affect real life. Say I'm a developer who wants to build a skyscraper in a city. Well, using the Legos here, I can build my skyscraper to scale. I can then plop it down into a model of the city. And in real time, the computer will tell me if the city just got better or worse. Winder's currently helping city planners in Australia to increase the walkability score of a proposed new city. Using the red and blue blocks to represent businesses and jobs, he'll tell them what should go where. What we can do is take their master plan before they even build it mock it up in Legos and run a simulation to see how walkable it will be. And it's not just in Ira's office. Legos litter the landscape here. A wall of Legos and cubbies to use in a lounge with a Lego-shaped table. A Lego cat in a hallway. MIT and Lego have had a partnership since the 1980s. The school even helped Lego to develop a robotic Lego kit. There are closets here with boxes of Legos stacked like well, Legos. I think we have about a million right now. Yeah. <laughs> just my, MIT's my motto is mind Anything, uh, and hand. Useful. What's in Ira Winder's mind might make cities run better. And what's in his hand might just make it a little more fun. We like to think we have these great ideas, um, but if they're not approachable, then what's the use in ideas? And that was his number one thing, that there's something about putting something together in Legos that when city planners, when architects and engineers come together, they look at it, they can get their hands in there, and they understand what MIT is doing very easily. Can they do something about the Boston roads and making that easier at all? I asked about that. He, <laughs> you did? He, yes, because I think it needs to be done. <laughs> it does. And uh, there really haven't been any big meetings yet with the city of Boston as far as city planning goes, but maybe in the future. I would love to see that. All yeah. right, cool. And be careful in that lab. You don't want to step on a Lego. It's one of the most painful <laughs> things. No.